Well, hello dolls and welcome to Megan Monday, the very first Megan Monday of the year and what will hopefully be one of many to come. Today I am doing for you the 20 things to do before I die tag. I was tagged by Tara Wood and Michelle Parks. I will link their channels and videos down below so make sure you go check them out. And this is basically just like, kind of like a bucket list tag. So there's four categories, five things underneath each category. So let's go. The first category is five places to visit. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I've already been to Disney World many, many times. I'm dying to see Disneyland and honestly, I would love to take a trip and yeah, I want to go to all the Disneys and all the places. Anywhere in Europe, but especially the UK, England, Ireland, Scotland, Paris, again, Europe, but there's just so much history and art and food and some people have said it's not worth all the hype it gets and some people are like, yes, it is worth every bit of hype and I would like to find out for myself and it seems so romantic and you know, I love the romantical things. I really want to see Alaska. Um, my mom loved Alaska and was kind of obsessed and we talked so often about moving there or just traveling there and taking a cruise. I would love to see it kind of for her and for me because it was a dream we both had. Last but not least, which is kind of technically not a place, but VidCon. It's grown so huge in the few years since it started that I feel like it kind of is a place now. It's this huge thing and I've been dying to go ever since the Vlogbrothers started it the very first one i've wanted to go and it just gets bigger and bigger every year and not just kind of this thing unto itself and it includes a disney day so i would get to go to disneyland and just i've heard it's so crazy and overwhelming and chaotic which would probably be a problem for me but the chance to go and meet some of my favorite youtubers and just learn more about youtube and have everybody there be about youtube sounds kind of fabulous five things i don't know why i'm doing the single ladies with my hand but five things to own. Like a nice house on the water and all the things that would kind of go along with that. I want a MacBook so bad. So many people have MacBooks and, and so many people I know who who used to be PCs and then once they move to Mac they'll never go back. And I just, it's so pretty and nice and I want, I want one. I want a good makeup collection. I love seeing all the beauty gurus on YouTube and their huge makeup collections and it just makes me so happy. It's like you can go shopping in your own thing but you don't need to go shopping because you've already... yeah. I want basically my own library. Like I don't need to own an actual library, although that, that would be kind of fun like helping out the community with the books. But just like in my nice house on the water, see I'm gonna have a MacBook and I'm gonna have a nice makeup collection and I'm gonna have a library. That dream, like Belle in Beauty and the Beast and that library he gives her like living the dream right there. I've always dreamed of like opening and owning a, a bakery or a cafe and since my friend Tara, you know, we're gonna live in Nashville together hopefully sooner rather than later and she wants to open a coffee shop where she trades coffee for music so you know we're gonna have our little cafe bakery coffee shop together and live in the dream. Five risks to take. Bungee jumping. That just seems ridiculously scary, bouncing up and down in midair. The only thing between you and eternity is a glorified rubber band. Like, that's a bad risk. Kind of along the same lines, I feel like, skydiving. Although I don't know if I could do it because of my ears. I have really bad ear problems and, and pressure and just flying is a problem with my ears, so I can't imagine that, that jumping out of a plane. never thought about that until just now. But that seems like really scary and, and people seem to really love it once they do it and just to be like that free and flying, I don't know, seems like it'd be pretty cool. I would love to go swimming with the sharks. When I was little I was like obsessed with the ocean and sharks and dolphins and whales and all the things and I wanted to be a marine biologist. To be able to be in the water like I think it would be terrifying. I might die and I probably would have a panic attack like underneath the water. <laughs> Which would not be good. Accidental drowning because I freaked out and took off all the things. And, but yeah, swimming with the sharks. It's a risky, risky time. Oh, I'm getting so scared just thinking about it. 
I would love to go on safari. I mean, when you're on safari and they go see those animals in person, it would be crazy and amazing. And to see them in their natural habitat, that's not something that we've created, um, and they're animals. So you never know what could happen. But just, I don't know, to see those, those animals up close, you never know when what they could do. I don't know why they're shaking their fist at us. But. Last but not least, I would like to fall in love. I thought I was in love once, and I definitely was not. I don't know, that's such a risk because, you know, it's so easy for somebody else to change their mind and just tear your world apart. It's definitely scary and not even knowing I'm doing it, like, I've ran away from the possibility of getting hurt like that. So, yeah, I would like to fall in love and feel the feels and take the risk. Five things you would like to learn. I would really like to learn how to speak Spanish fluently. I want to learn how to like knit and sew and crochet and just be really crafty. My mom's mom could do all those things. That woman could make anything and she was so resourceful. And I feel like if you have those kind of skills, you can do anything. You could take over the world with my crochet hook and my knitting needles. I want to learn how to take amazing photos and videos. I would really like to learn how to play the guitar and sing because I feel like if you're going to do one, you might as well do the other. I want to make music and be talented and I don't need to be famous or even make music for other people, but just to get the music that's in my heart out with all the feels. Yeah. I'd really like to learn the Bible. There are parts of the Bible that I know fairly well and the Bible stories growing up, you know, but I really want to have a good foundation in it and be able to base decisions I make off of that and really know what it says so that I can speak about it and know what I'm talking about. Alright guys, there are the 20 things I would like to do before I die. Thank you so much to Michelle and Tara for tagging me and I hope you all are happy that I've done this now. And now it's my turn to tag people. I tag Landon and Danny Austin, Casey Lane or Sparkly Barbie XO, Travis Flynn, Kenny or Silent Fan 85, Donnie or Donnie LB, Sarah Shin, Rachel Hardy, and Laura Chaffee. Hope I said everybody's names right because some of you are only internet friends. And of course, I tag you. So if you want to do this video, make sure you tweet it to me. My links will be down below. I am going to link everybody's YouTube pages down below that I've tagged as well. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Bye dolls!